click on the settings cog in the upper right hand corner of the class. And I'm going to scroll down in some earlier videos. I had shown how to do the settings. And one of my tips is to leave on students can post and comment. That's one of the ways we create community. And I promise students will act immaturely because by definition, they are immature. And so are my 40 year old friends who post on Facebook. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, how so, do we how do we prevent our students now from becoming our 40 year old friends who you're like, oh, how did no one show you how to post on Facebook? Right. Because it didn't exist when we went to school. But now it does. And Google Classroom is a great way to teach kids how to behave online. So they don't do it well because they didn't, they weren't taught. So I recommend you leave students can post and comment and use the stream as an opportunity to have them share what's going on, almost use it like Facebook and monitor, delete, um, correct, call parents as you need to, but build that community. And then this is a big, big deal for me. The default, for some ridiculous reason, is show condensed notifications for the classwork on the stream. And when they switched to that, I think I just started, like, I wanted to abandon classroom altogether. And then when they brought it back, show attachments and details. This is, like, one of my most favorite important things to share with teachers as they set up Google Classroom. Make sure you click on the settings cog and go to show attachments and details. And I'll show you in a minute what that does.